All right, so this is a very important step, y'all. Uh, you got to make sure that you get the power plugged into the right place. Now, typically on these power supplies, you're going to have your uh, mains or your alternating, your AC current uh, or uh, voltage coming in over here. Then you're going to have three terminals, one, two, and three, that are negative. And then you'll have one, two, three terminals that are the positive DC voltage. Uh, so you want to make sure that you get that right. And to do that, I've got my little test meter here. I'm just going to turn this on ohms. Turn that light on. Hopefully you can see that. And whenever you have a connection, a complete circuit made, um, this thing is going to let you know, and you can see that when I do this, it makes that beep, lights up, tells me that there is very little resistance there. So, I'm going to pop one on what I know to be a ground, and I'm going to pop one over here. Now it beeped for a second, but now I get the OL, it's open. It's telling me that there's one is one terminal and one is the other terminal. I know this is a positive terminal and this is a negative terminal. If I go over here and to the next one, those are common, but if I go over here, none of those. Now if I move this lead to here and I do that one, yep, those are common to each other and those are common to each other. So we've got one, two, three positive powers and one, two, three, excuse me, one, two, three negatives. So we're going to take our leads. I'm going to go with the positive first. Go ahead and loosen up the screw here. I'm going to put my red one, my positive, and hopefully they've done their, their job on this end and everything's good with that. We're just going to have to trust that Soval did it right. I'm going to screw that down and take that negative. That's tight. That's tight. That's good. Good. And good. All right. So, and we're going to go ahead and pop 